Well hi there folks and welcome to part two of my I've got a brilliant idea video and as you can see my brilliant idea to build a C-130 transport plane was actually finished. So gonna have a quick look at the build block how it went and then we'll have a look at this to see how it's actually put together and as you can see parachute man sits in here I'll show you how the release mechanism works and then if you're still breathing and can stand the suspense I'll show you at the end how the maiden went of course you can always just flip straight to it if you want I'll show you how the maiden went and whether parachute man actually managed to leave the aircraft so let's get on and take a look at how the build went Okay, so now the fun part, trying to build a C-130 Hercules in foam board from just scale drawings. I'm kind of using the time-honoured flight test method. Make little cutouts like so, so that you can make a nice join like this. But as you can see, I'm making it up as I go along. Folds where, they're, where they happen to be. Still trying to figure out how to make the nose. That didn't quite work out according to plan. But I think somewhere along the line, I'm going to come up with a foam board C-130 transporter with a trapdoor so I can drop a parachute man. I'll come back in a little bit when I've reached another stage. And sorry about the state of my voice, but I've had a bad throat and coughing for about a month now, which I can't seem to shake. And so it's affecting the way I speak. Ah, like that. Right, hopefully in a day or two, going to be better. I've actually in increased the size of this a little bit from the original on the plan to give it a bit more authority and obviously I need an elevator that was going to go straight up and down at the back not two separate ones. Right okay let's see what happens next but basically that is the sides two sides and the top panel which are going to kind of go like so like that. Probably look better once it's hot glued together. I think I'm going to need to put some little bulkheads in and I've still got to figure out storage for lipos and particularly where the parachute man's going to go. The idea is he's going to come out of a trapdoor here. Who knows anyway the weather's so bad it's given me something to do. Well two minutes with a glue gun and it's almost beginning to look like the start of a fuselage. That's going to go on there like that somewhere almost looks like a Hercules profile. Yes I like it, it's coming along. Not quite sure I'm going to fix that. Cut a slot. I don't know. It's a question of work it out as you go along. Right, well vertical stab on and now tail fins and elevator and I've made a slot there. The idea being that I can glue that on the side here. I'm not going to do it on camera. Too tricky. But that's going to go on there like so. Wish me luck. No, like I say, it's design it as you go along. It won't look right there. So I'm going to make a cut out here. Cut that back so it's actually going to sit there like that. Because otherwise it won't look right against that rudder. It's got to fit inside the rudder. Well there you are, design it as you go, works. I've even managed to glue those two together there underneath, almost in line, well not far out. So that works. Got them in line there. Looks okay from the side. That's going to work. So I think that's not bad going. 
Still can't do the bottom because I'm still waiting for parachute man. So I don't know quite how the hatch is going to work out or battery storage. But I'm very pleased with that. I think it's beginning to look vaguely like a C-130. And quite solid, quite rigid, just, just by gluing those sides on and this on. Yeah, I like it. So, got to figure out the trap door. Or it might even be a bomb bay. I've not quite decided yet. Might be a bomb bay to drop the parachute man straight out. Or it might be a hatch. The problem with the hatch is trying to close it again afterwards which I can't see is going to be very easy but that's progress so far hopefully parachute man's going to arrive in the next day or two but my C-130 is taking shape Well, motor on. I just glued a little bulkhead there and this already had a little mount on it so three screws holds that on. Tail is on, looks nice. Little mod at the end there so that I could actually get this further forward. It didn't look right with it further back. Um, and it's now time to think about putting the wing on. So I figured where I was going to put the wing to look about right which is about here. Beginning to look like a little C-130 now. But if you look down there, you can see we have a problem. It's a good while since I've made a foam board plane. Um, I forgot one of the important fundamentals of making sure that things were at right angles. And if you look at that, I don't know whether you can see it. Actually, you can see it better there. You can see I've actually built a twist into this little box fuselage because I didn't check. Actually, I did check that side. Don't get it, I know. But I didn't check that side. Anyway, being the expert botcher, I have come up with a solution. Rather than put some padding underneath it, I'm just going to cut away on one, cut away on one side of this so that when it's sat on there, it will sit true and nobody will ever notice. Yeah, it's only, it's only a little twist. It's true at the front end. but goes off into a twist at the tail. Anyway, we will correct it. And then once I've actually got that glued on, a servo each side and a Y lead for the ailerons, I can think about the drop mechanism. Aileron servos, almost both in. Just got to hot glue that one in place. As you can see, this isn't precision engineering, but anyway, hopefully it's gonna work. Well, I just did a little test panel, which seems to be all right when it's sprayed with this Quicksilver paint. So it's going to get a paint job before I actually go to the stage of sticking on the main spar. And 15 minutes later, we have a Silver Hercules, although bottom of the fuselage not fixed on yet. But next step is going to be to glue this wing in position. The wires from the servos are tucked through there. This is kind of make it up as you go along building, but I think it looks better in silver. And I'm pleased to have found a silver paint that doesn't warp foam board. It's the first time I've ever successfully sprayed foam board. Um, and it looks much better in silver than it did in white, especially the wing. Even sprayed the wing and covered where the servos go with a bit of tape. I know it's a quite a crude build, but it's a fun build. So I'm well pleased with that. The gun is heating. Next step's gonna to be to glue this on. And I've kind of guessed the position about there. I think it looks about right. It looks about right for the length of the nose and the, and the rest of the fuselage. So I'm well pleased with the way this is coming along. Well, as you can see, making good progress here. So those are in and connected. I made a Y lead to connect them to the receiver using this little FS2A here. Plenty of grunt from this motor and prop. 20 amp speed controller and in fact the motor will draw getting on for 20 amps even with a, a 2S. There's plenty of grunt from that. I think it would probably prop hang. 
and as you can see elevators are connected so I'm well pleased with this the first time I've ever tried to create anything from an online drawing or online image and it kind of vaguely looks like a C-130 Hercules I'm very confident it's not going to end up tail heavy and in fact with the 2S LiPo up front here pretty sure I'm going to be able to put the elevator servo just in there that'll be quite tidy so the next step is going to be to start tidying this up and start thinking about how I'm going to actually drop parachute man which of course arrived only weighs about 16 grams so it's not going to affect things too much when it's tucked in here the interesting bit is going to be to figure out how I'm going to actually drop it so that's going to be the fun part but that comes after I've kind of given this a bit of a basic underside to the fuselage right so that's the update let's get on with it and see how we get on next right well that's elevator servo in quite a nice tidy job just tucked in there which means I can now put a panel across here there's, there's going to be a hatch here possibly a hatch here because I haven't quite decided where parachute man's going to fall out from plus I've got one more servo what I'm going to do for the release for the hatch is use the rudder channel channel 4 because the model doesn't have a rudder so that's the plan so that's where we are now I think it's looking pretty good should fly as well right folks well we're getting near the final stages of this where it's going to be able for me to maiden it and hopefully drop parachute man out just have a look here at what we've got made a little cover here to keep these things away from any possibility of snagging anything that just slides in I'm going to put a bit of tape on to hold it tiny little FS2A receiver there and just in case this silver paint actually affects the signal I've actually taken that through that is going to be the release servo it's on channel 4 rudder still got to figure a mechanism for it but anyway so I'm going to put a bit of tape on that now then I'm going to glue in a little bit more of a cover there I was originally hoping to have a C-130 ramp here like so and be able to drop parachute man from the back of that but problem with that is if you drop the ramp I need I'd need a servo to actually wind it down and wind it up so the simplest thing really is to just drop straight from a hold like so and that saves the the aggro of having to kind of wind a hatch back up again so that's the plan it's going to be like Bombay here and parachute man is going to drop out there to prevent him snagging I'm going to put a little slide there so that as it comes out it can slide out towards the rear because bear in mind models going to be moving so as it comes out there's just a very slim chance that it might want to snag so I'll just get on and do that and then it's a question of figuring out the release mechanism don't go away so as you saw out apart from the silver paint added some little decals the RAF versions of the C-130 didn't look anything like this they had a kind of camouflage look so that's a bit of artistic license but anyway let's take a closer look at this it was interesting coming up with an idea to release I'm only using a four channel receiver so I couldn't assign a switch to the release what I had to do was use the rudder channel channel 4 and I did set it up in such a way that moving the rudder to the left had no effect so basically release meant doing that pretty tricky having it on a throttle control because it was a bit too easy to nudge it accidentally but it did need a reasonable amount of travel to actually pull the retractor pin out which I'm going to show you now a 2s 1000 milliamp battery sits in here but I have discovered after the maiden that in fact it still needs a bit more lead up here to get the center of gravity right but anyway and I'm going to be ultra careful here because I've still got the prop on so the release mechanism turn on TX connect battery keep your fingers out of the way I'm still a bit hoarse because of this cough that I've had for four weeks five weeks now anyway so we're connected and if you look here you can see there's a servo with the arm this way bit of this kind of 0.7 mil wire across here which goes into a little tube um, I'll see if I can get in closer to that and just here we have a rubber band 
that it's being held by a pin in between two tubes. So when I do this, rubber band pops out and hopefully Parachute Man jumps out followed by his parachute. And incidentally, I've packed a few reserve parachutes because I do some paragliding and paramoting. You don't roll it in a ball. They're folded so that they release like so. I did my best here to make sure it wouldn't snag. I've even put a little kind of bit of a chute there so that it will slide out nicely. I'm going to disconnect this while I'm rabbiting. So let's take a look and see how the maiden went and whether Parachute Man did his jump. We finally got a flyable day and I'm back here up at this old World War II airfield actually, which is what it was. Nice little breeze this way and it's time for my foam board C-130 to get its maiden. Plus if I feel up to it, Parachute Man's going to come out. So wish me luck. Fortunately there's somebody up here that can throw it and be a spotter for me because I've got to keep flying the plane and I'm anticipating that Parachute Man's going to drift off somewhere in the wind. So wish me luck chaps. Are we ready? I'm ready if you are. We are ready, yeah, we are ready, I okay. I we are ready, yeah. I usually have to have a piss. Yeah. Okay. Slight, I think it's slightly more... <laughs> yeah, actually the right direction, yeah. Okay. Yeah, go. I've had to push the nose down, that's better. Oh, you want to trim the nose forward, don't you? No, it's not no. bad. Oh, oh. F oh. Yeah. yeah. Too much up, you got, it? Yeah. Put some down in it? I'm going to land it and put some down. Do you want to try it and I'll put down in it? No, no, I don't, I don't like trimming when I'm... See the glide's quite good. Look, that's that was close throttle then. Hell of a wind there, though, for yeah. size model. I can put Darren in it if you want. You can keep it up there. Do you want me to try some down? Yeah, go on then. Where is down? Here, isn't it? Okay, I know what's going to happen. Go on land, land. Go on land. Yeah, that's nice in the bush. See, that's half throttle. It's not too bad anyway. Okay, I'm just going to come across third throttle. It is porpoising, yeah. yeah. I've got the measure of it now, anyway. You oh, have. Yeah. Let me try and put some down in it for you. No, 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 nope. leave it. No, no, no. Because okay. while you're doing that, I'm not concentrating on flying oh, the model. Okay. But it doesn't want to turn left very well. I'm going to come across right here. Oh, fuck, dolphin. It wants like throws put in, doesn't it? Ease that up a bit. I'm going to drop the man. Oh, he didn't there. come out. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> After all that, he didn't come out. <laughs> and I made that, I was so careful to set that up in a way where it wouldn't snag. I bet you've done a hundred drops already. Isn't it? That, that yeah, well, but I knew, I realised when it was flying, of course, it's going to drag it backwards. Yeah which is why I even put a little thing in the back. I'm pleased with the way it flies anyway. I mean, the problem was it needed, it was easy, it needed some left trim as well, because it wouldn't, it would, I was having to keep it straight. Where do we go? I was trying to drop it in the gorse, but it should be all right there anyway, I think. No, it didn't even come out, it was hanging on. If I, I was also having to keep it, we were having to keep a bit of that I, in. I was, it wanted to fly right, so I was also having to keep it flying yeah. left as well. Keep the nose down. These things keep you young. Yes. I'll just give it one circuit with it. Um, I was barely flying it half throttle, so I'll just chuck it. So oh, you've got the hang of that now. Is that a bit better nose trimmed down? That's half throttle. Flies nice, doesn't it, to be fair? behind you so don't get in your way. Nice. Have you got to almost, hold this down almost. in again? No, no, it's, no, absolutely, right. it's absolutely right there. Look, not even, hands free, hands yeah, free. Awesome. Hands free, still needs a bit of right trim. But it is windy for it, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to blow all over the place. Wind 
wheels. Some wheels now. Uh, see that? I was a bit low there. They even oh, gave right. it. Yeah, look good. What a nice glide. Look at that for a glide yeah. with the throttle shut. Alright. Please be that. I'll make sure that you were the... oh, I think it's just out tube, that's all. I don't yeah. really call it by its No, but it was hanging on though, wasn't it? Three, two. You tell me when to flow. Three, two, one. Well, look how windy it is though. Oh, it's actually, you know, it's um, thrust angle, that was the problem there. Yeah, there's a lot of thrust upwards in that, I know this. Yeah. It's so gusty, one minute I'm... Whoa. I think I'm getting lift off that slope as well. It ne no, it needs more down thrust. It, it's porpoising still because it needs more down thrust. Yeah, motor, yeah. Well, it has to be because. Are you watching my man? I'm watching the man. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Perfect. No, in the end you see it was still hanging on, so I thought, right, give it some welly and just go up. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, beautifully. that was fun. <laughs> oh, what a shame I didn't get, uh, what I needed was someone with a camera watching me man come down. But, yeah, see, oh, I don't know. Right. He, he stuck, he was stuck. I wonder why it sticks though. It's obviously the airflow, you know, as he's going Pushing through. It and as you say, there's not enough weight in that to drop him out. Oh, oh I'm well chuffed with that. Thanks very much. <laughs> It won't turn left. Whoa, it's low. Talk about low save. Well, thanks for watching. That was a fun afternoon out at my local strip, although windier than I was expecting it to be. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a like and why not check out some of the other stuff. If you want to see more about how I scaled the plans and how I worked on the plans and turned a JPEG into a PDF, it's all on that part one. I must say it's the first time I've ever attempted to kind of come up with my own foam board design from an aircraft plan basically and I was pleased with the way it worked and also I think despite my efforts at making this as smooth as possible I think maybe I could have packed it better I tried to make it even more snag free with the way this clip is secured and next time I'm going to have a camera on here somewhere looking back to see the parachute fly but i enjoyed that nice little challenge and a lot of fun if you want to know more about my edf little conversion i've made about 10 of those little conversions unfortunately that one had a thrust tube that was slightly out of line which was quite interesting i'll probably make a follow-up vid on that so so if you want to see that don't forget to hit subscribe and if you want to see more tests of this don't forget to hit subscribe but that's all for now thanks for watching hopefully i'll catch you all again soon bye for now